Hi, I'm Mikhail Becker, and I'm here with DJ. We're going to show you how to crate train your dog. What a good boy. Crate training can be tricky, and it's easy to make mistakes. The biggest mistake that I see is forcing a dog to spend long periods of time inside his crate before he's comfortable. I see this happen far too often. Without activities, he's sure to become bored, restless, or even feel trapped. You want your dog to grow attached to his crate and see it as a safe haven and a retreat. It's great for potty training by limiting his space. As your dog grows older, it becomes a great place for him to rest when company comes over. And for every dog, at some point in their life, it's very likely that they're going to be crated, such as going in a car ride to go to a vet visit. Start by leaving the door to the crate open so your dog can explore going in and out freely. To train a dog to actually go inside of his crate, start by tossing treats or toys inside. As soon as the dog goes inside, continue to toss in treats at random. Occasionally ask him to come out so he can practice going back in. Many dogs will only need a treat or a toy tossed in the first couple of times and then they'll start going in on their own. An easy way to condition him to enjoy it is to start feeding meals inside. For extremely fearful dogs, start by feeding with the food bowl on the outside of the crate. As they grow comfortable, you can gradually start to move the food bowl further and further inside of the crate. Always pay attention to make sure the dog is actually eating the meals that you put inside of his crate. Another idea is to tie a rope on the end of a Kong and to put that in the back of a crate so the dog needs to go inside to enjoy their Kong. When you are still training, it's important to leave the crate door open only when you're there to supervise and reward. Once your dog is comfortable, the next step is shutting the door only for a moment, mark and reward. Toss treats towards the back of his crate to make him more excited about being inside of the crate and wanting to hang out in there for a little bit longer. You don't want him so much focused about the door and getting to come back out, but you want to make the inside of the crate really fun for him. Another way to get your dog excited about staying inside of the crate is to put a soft spreadable treat on the inside towards the back of the crate, such as sprayable cheese or peanut butter. You will want to vary the time that your dog is inside of the crate with the door closed. Randomly keep it closed for about 20 seconds. You can also work up to longer periods with him eating his meal or his stuffed Kong with the door closed. You will want to have your dog get used to being comfortable in his crate for longer periods of time, but you don't want that to be every single time that he's in there. Vary it up a little bit for your dog, so sometimes it's really short and other times it might be a little bit longer, but only to the level that they can tolerate and still stay relaxed. Don't forget to keep giving him random rewards throughout the day. A lot of times what I like to do is just drop in random treats throughout the day or toys so they go inside to investigate all on their own. You want to make sure that his associations with the crates stay really positive. Keep in mind that dogs with separation anxiety may not do well in crates. If you think your dog is showing signs of distress when left alone, talk to your vet. Separation anxiety rarely gets better on its own, but usually only gets worse. For dogs that already have a negative association with the crate, start retraining with a totally different crate. If the dog had a solid-sided crate in the past, try using a wire crate instead. Spraying dog appeasing pheromone on the inside of the crate 15 minutes before the dog goes in can also help to relieve tension. You can also take a blanket and drape it over the outside of the crate. This is great for those dogs that really like that den-like area where it's dark and comfortable and closed in, so if your dog likes that, that might be something to try. Never let children pester the dog or approach the dog when he's inside of the crate. Far too often, kids will try to touch or pet the dog while he's inside of his kennel. That interaction can make your dog feel cornered. If he feels threatened in any way, he may try to avoid his crate or could even snap at someone. Remember, the crate should always be a place that your dog can retreat to without being bothered. Every dog is different and learns at his own pace. If you want more information on how you can train your dog, go to vetstreet.com.